Hi, I'm going to show you how to rickroll with your Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark IV. Now what you're going to need to download first is WinSCP and this pineapple-rickroll folder here full of this file. It's in a zip, just unzip it and here you go. I'll provide the links down in the show notes so you can go ahead and download those. So what we're going to do is first going to go to our main interface, the Wi-Fi Pineapple, right here, the web interface and get internet connection sharing going on all the normal stuff as usual you can uh, do in the other videos I've shown you how to do anyways go to DNS spoof and edit we're going to change this example to an asterisk which is a star so any requested web page or whatever is gonna go to the pineapple itself so we're gonna update that and make sure this landing phishing page here is going to redirect.php Update that, make sure that's working okay. And I'm going to change the SSID to Starbucks so people will manually connect to it thinking, oh, free internet. So, anyways, once we got that set up, we are going to need to run WinSCP. And as usual, 172.16.42.1 Username is root and the password is pineapples are yummy. And we're going to SCP and log in. You may get errors, just click OK. We're going to go up and just go to wherever you downloaded that pineapple-rickroll and right side is the files and directories of your pineapple and the left side is the files and directories of your computer so we're going to go to the www folder and we're just going to copy this index and this mp3 in this wave file that's all we need copy it over here and copy Okay, and we're going to just change this to Rickroll. Just to make it interesting. And basically how it works is, once, once we enable DNS spoof, it will go to our main uh, directory in the Pineapple in the www folder, and it's going to go to this first web page right here, this PHP right here and it's going to refresh you might see the your web browser refresh quickly and it's going to go to redirect.php and right here redirect.php is going to look in your URL box and if it meets any of the criteria here if it's example it could be anything like example is good.com and if that meets that it will go to example.html this is what you would do for the phishing pages which I've shown you how to do in the other videos. Since I want every web page to be Rick rolled, I'm just going to change it to random whatever. And down here, if that wasn't met, it would require this. Before you can set it to a landing page or whatever, like Pete's Coffee or whatever, um, basically it would trick the user into buying internet access for that place. Mostly you'd see that at coffee shops or whatever. But here it's just default to set to error.php. We're going to change that to rickroll.html. So if that isn't met, which it isn't, more highly unlikely someone's going to have a website named that, it will go to the rickroll.html page. So we're going to save that. And basically the error.php is basically invoked once you click post or whatever on the fi custom phishing pages that you did like Facebook, Twitter, whatever and it will look at the name and pass and clean it up a bit and put it in the fish.log and right away it's going to go one web page back so basically it's going to reload the page you'll notice but we don't need that we can just leave that alone and that should be it here we got all the files and everything set up properly and let's start DNS spoof so that should be it it should work properly sometimes it doesn't work the reason why sometimes it doesn't work on the victims is because it pre-caches I believe the DNS so if you try to go to Google 
whatever web page you may happen to go to, it will actually load the right website, not the Rick Rolled page. So anyways, as being the victim here, I'm going to unplug my pineapple and pretend I'm connecting to Starbucks. So I go down here like, ooh, Starbucks, okay. Looks like I got internet. I'm going to lose internet access anyways because it's sharing off of my Wi-Fi here off of my computer. And I should be connecting. Um, and let's try a website, randomone.com. Sometimes this doesn't work. Let's see. Yeah, it works. So you see that works fine and let's try google.com see it's working uh, fine um, works pretty good like I said if it doesn't for you just clean out the cache in your web browser and that's it um, I hope you had fun please use this responsibly and I hope to see you later thanks bye